Now the next thing is to add music into our editing timeline and you can import music from anywhere. In my own case, I usually go to Pixabay and then I download the music and then I import it. So let me show you how I do it. Just come to your browser and just type Pixabay pixabay.com and you can see over here you just specify what kind of media you are looking for by clicking here you can come all the way you can see music and sound effects for example in my own case is music i just click and i'm looking out for music maybe i put background music i'm looking for background music and then i just search directly and you can see a bunch of them okay so there are lots of background music over here so you just play to have a preview of what it is and these are royalty free images free music that you can use and reuse and even share with your friends it's completely free to use So you can just preview by just clicking on anyone. And once you're starting of any background music that you want to download, you can just go ahead, come over here and just click on download. And it's going to download it for you over here. So you just uh, select it and put it on your editing profile or you can import it directly. So in my own case, I'm going to import it from my Final Cut. So I go come back to Final Cut and to import any media as usual, as I've showed you is you come to file over here and just go straight to import. And then you specify media, you just navigate to where exactly you have that media file so for example in my own case i have it in i have it in youtube under this um, final cut tutorial so i have it on a final cut i have it on music so you just open this and you can see lifelike uh, background you can just select it okay and just come over here and say import selected and it's going to import that video that audio that music for you directly so what you need to do is just select it and drag it and drop it into the timeline just like so very easy and you can see it has just imported it for us as a music as a background music so usually to play a background music you have to be aware of the sound volume effect so you can play around with the volume usually naturally you can start by playing around with this line okay you can increase the volume by just playing around with this line increasing or decreasing accordingly but you'll be able to see the profile some are getting red some are getting yellow but the key thing is to not allow your sound or your volume to peak to get to the red level it has to be just between the, the green color as well as the yellow so don't let it go into the red line because it's going to peak and it's going to make your videos to look fantastic so let's try to zoom out and see our video. So you can see we have the music up to this point. You can copy and or you can drag the same audio and put it again. This is what I usually do. I usually drag and put it and then try to connect them. So after the first uh, music, it's going to restart again. And then I drag again, I put it again on the other track. So after the, the third one, it's going to restart again. So what I used to do at this point is it exceeds the main video. So I can just go ahead, come to the extreme end over here. And you can see it has shown this sign. So you can just uh, trim to the end and until it connects to my main video. Okay, so you can see it has just connected. Usually what I do in adding videos in adding music into my track is i used to have a fade in and fade out i do apply that at the end of the clip and at the beginning so to apply any fade in once you hover over any music track you can be able to see a small dot at the end over here so you can just drag it drag that small dot and move it around and you can see it is fading your music okay it is fading your music from whichever point the sound is going to go down at that point so you can see it is going to fade out from that point whatever sound or whatever volume you are on as you get to this point is going to die down up to zero okay so it's going to like fade out naturally you can do that at the entrance as well so you can come to the entrance you can come hover over the clip and you can see that small dot you can just drag it and you can see you can fade in and the volume is going to start from zero until this point is going to get louder at this point that is going to go back to 100 and alternatively if you want to play around or increase or play around with the volume you can just select the media you can come back here to these properties you'll be able to see the media over here you can increase or decrease the volume also from here and you can see it increasing or decreasing from the timeline over here so this is another way to play around with the volume and you can enable the audio meters as well if you want to be able to visualize your audio how it is performing by just coming to windows over here and show in workspace and you'll be able to show the audio meters over here so you just click on audio meters and it's going to show that over here so once you start playing your music it's going to show the audio meter from the audio meter so let's just select and hit on the space bar 
and you can see so what it does is it just show you the level of the volume if you see it hitting the red sign it means it's bad so you have to play and try to reduce it from here and you can see even from here it's showing some yellow and red signs if you look very closely you'll be able to see that but you can try to re reduce it by coming here and just uh, reducing the size over here and then you try to play by observing the audio meters and see how far it is going when was the last time and you can see this is quite okay because it's still within the green range it doesn't get to the red line uh, as we have discussed so this is basically how to add the music on to the timeline so sometimes you may want to mute the music and play around with the main video uh, sound effect once you're done with the sound effect then you can come and increase or play around with the background music effect okay so sometimes you may want to increase the sound volume at a given point and you may want to decrease it at a given point sometimes i do what we call the the i apply the range selector or sometimes i cut at a given point so for example if at this point i want to I create a, i want to increase the volume of the music to go higher at this point selected point so all i need is i just come over here select this point and then enable the blade mode and just click to to cut and then click to cut at this point as well and then i go back to the selection mode and i can increase my volume at this point okay so between this point i can make the increase or decrease as accordingly as i wish so this is one way another way to do it is you can undo the cutting and i can apply the range selector by just hitting on the letter r to enable the range selector so once you drag a given selected area for example this area and within the range selector you can increase or decrease the volume or the volume of that particular clip as you so wish so this gives you a kind of control because it even applies the keyframes at the entrance and exit so you can feel free to play around with the keyframes like such as the fading in and fading out or putting in different kind of effects based on the keyframe so it gives you that kind of control for you to play around and see what you can do it fits in and and it fits out using these keyframes so you can do that at, at any given point by just hitting on letter r you just select um, by just hitting on the letter r you just it to enable the range selector you just select and just uh, drag and uh, drag across and then you select that particular place and you apply the very effect you want to either increase or decrease and it's going to give you that very effect uh, not across the whole but on the selected part of the selected portion of the clip so this is a very easy way to kind of apply different kind of music effect effects on your music and to play around with the volumes across the clip as you're editing your video so i think that does it for adding music into the timeline or into your video editing uh, i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one